Hi, Kay. Welcome to music. You can see behind me, it is very wet and rainy outside. So I thought I might do something that has rain in it. So can you get your building out? The first song we're going to sing is The Wise Man Built His House Upon the Rock. And then the rains came tumbling down. Are you ready? The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. Splish, splash. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. But the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down, swish, splash. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splat. So build your lives on the Lord Jesus Christ. To build your lives on the Lord Jesus Christ. To build your lives on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Very good. That was some good singing. Now, what's another song about the rain? Hmm, an old man is snoring, is it? Ready? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head on the back of the bed and couldn't get up in the morning. <laughs> Very good, want to do that one again? Ready? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is <laughs> snoring he bumped his head on the back of the bed couldn't get up in the morning yeah that goes without raining and it's pouring isn't it the other song that is remember Incy Wincy Spider he goes and then when the rain comes down it washes him out are you ready Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout and down came the rain and washed poor Incy out out come the sunshine and dried up all the rain so Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Do you reckon we can do that a little bit faster? Ready? Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out come the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> Very good. Now, I thought we would do something else that makes a musical instrument that sounds like rain. What you're going to need is you can have a we're going to make kind of like a rain maker what you're going to need is a toilet roll or a towel roll okay and i've done one here and i've colored in that one and then the sticky tape you've got to sticky tape it down really good so the the stuff inside doesn't come out but if you Can make it sound like little spitters of rain or you can shake it all right so we're going to make one of these first so what you're going to need is a toilet roll or a paper towel roll you can choose some crayons do you what color you choose you're then going to need some grease proof paper I think I'll make lots of sounds and you're going to need some scissors which mum and dad may have to help you with. And you're going to need some sticky tape. <laughs> All right. Once you end, very important, you're going to need some rice or lentils or something else that you have that can make beads, something that will make a rattly side down inside as you slide it up and down. All right. If you have all of those, I'm going to tilt this down and we're going to make a rainmaker. Okay, so start with your tube. Now I'm going to color mine in. You can decorate this any way you want. I'm going to start with some orange. Now remember, 
the top parts are going to be covered with a paper and sticky tape. So don't worry about getting it too close to the top. This can be a bit tricky. Now, if you don't want to color it in, that's okay. You can get some stickers or you can cut out bits of colored paper and stick that on instead. There's lots of different ways that you can do this. I'm going to change to blue now. I'm going to make mine rainbow. So you color it in. Can you see the colors there now? Yep. Color it in, make it look all pretty. Might do some red now. Can you see the red? Mm. Do some zigzags up like this. All right, now I'm going to change to orange again. Some more orange up in here. Color, color, color. Oh, some green, I think, right here in this patch. Let's do some green, 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 green. Now, what color, what sort of things are green? Green grass, green trees, green leaves. Maybe you're wearing green shirt. You can find all sorts of things that are green. Uh, last color, I think I might go to pink. Now, what things are pink? You know, pink flowers, all sorts. There you go. Colored in my rainmaker. So we'll put our crowns away. So once you have your rainmaker and it's all colored in, this is the part you'll need mum and dad to help you with, okay? Mum and dad, you'll need your paper. Now, if you don't have greaseproof paper, that's okay. Just use some normal paper. And you're going to cut out a circle, but you're going to need more than one because there are two ends of the rainmaker. So one circle, doesn't have to be perfect. And two circles, ready? Snip, 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 snipping all the way. Crinkle, crinkle, snip, snip, snip. Oh, crinkle, 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 snip. Two. All right, so we're gonna put our scissors away, this way. Okay, we have two circles and we have our tube. So what we're gonna do is we get our tube and we put one circle on like that. And then we have to, ready? Move down the edges like that. Get that on. Now, you will need lots of sticky tape for this part because if it comes off, your rice is going to go everywhere. So mum and dad will need to help you. Lots of sticky tape. And you're going to put it around the edges like this. Okay, so make sure you hold it down extra tight. Lots of sticky tape and whoop, tape it down really tight. Okay, now I'm going to add lots of tape to mine just so it's really well sealed off. Okay, even though I think. <laughs> lots and lots of sticky tape because I do not want my rice to go everywhere. There you go. One end is done. Could even be like a drum. Kind of cool. All right. Now you have a hollow end here. This is where our rice is going to go into. So here's our rice. We're going to pour carefully. In we go. Now, if you can't if you can't pour it in, then get a spoon and carefully put it into your rainmaker. Now, what do you think we have to do? Can I shake it yet? No, I've got to put the lid on. So, same thing. I put the lid on like this, and I smooth down the edges so that it's all sealed off like that. I'm ready for lots of sticky tape again. Oh, here we go. Lots and lots of sticky tape yes even more sticky tape here we go more tape um see it's stuck there but i'm going to use some more tape whoa yes lots and lots of sticky tape to make sure my rice stays in my rainmaker ready here we go How'd you go? Did you make it? Ready? Now we can try and sing. Old man snoring? Let's try that one. Ready? 
It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head on the back of the bed and couldn't get up in the morning. There you go. You have a rainmaker. It's a little one, but it can still make rain sounds. Very good. Now, if you don't want to make this rain, that's okay. We're going to make a picture now also of the rain. What you're going to need for this part is you're going to need some crayons again, some watercolor paints, pot of water, and a paintbrush. And of course, the paper. Okay, I'm going to tilt the camera down again so you can see what I'm doing. Here is my paper. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw our picture first. Now, we're going to make a rainy scene. So let's start with our grass. Let's see. Let's get our grass. Yeah, is it looking like grass? Yes, lots and lots of grass. Now, when you use crayons, when we use our watercolor color paints, it will just brush over it, but we'll still be able to see the crayons. Okay, do lots and lots of grass. I have got my grass. Very good. Now, I'm thinking maybe a tree. Yes, I'm gonna get my brown and I'm gonna draw a tree. And I'm gonna color my tree in dark brown. Maybe add a few branches in here. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Branches are all over the place. There we go. I've got my tree in. Now my tree needs some leaves. So I'm going to get my dark green again. I'm going to just do some lovely leaves. <laughs> again, doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to do some swirls on top of our tree to make it look like a fluffy tree. Go down. Don't press too hard because you still want to see the branches through our leaves. See that? I now have my tree. All right, now we need some rain drops. Are you ready? So we're going to do circles of raindrops. Circles of raindrops in blue. Can you do, or maybe they look like ovals. Can you do, have a look at this. Lots of big fat raindrops. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do lots of big fat raindrops. There we go, we're doing a rainy picture because it is raining outside. Do lots of big fat raindrops. Plop, 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 plop. There you go. Lots of raindrops. Are you ready to do our sky now? Okay, the sky is the fun part. What you have to do is now you get your watercolor paints and your paintbrush. Wet your paintbrush and dip it in the blue. All right, lots of water and get your paintbrush nice and wet with the blue. Are you ready? We're going to sweep it across. Oh, more water. That's the fun part of watercolor. Okay, remember I'm doing a darker blue because the sky is quite dark outside. And you can go over the crayon part because you'll still see that the crayon will come through the paint. Lots of water for this, all right, Pre-K? Lots and lots of water. All right, let's keep going. I'm painting over all of these raindrops with a blue sky. I need more water. I need lots and lots of water. Lots and lots of water, okay? Because you don't want super lots and lots of paint. 
you want to be able to see your crown. Okay, and they're called watercolors. Ready? Swish, swish, swish. Pitter patter, pitter patter, rain, rain. Now, I'm actually going to play for you a little bit of music while we do this. This is written by a man called Vivaldi. And Vivaldi wrote a song about a storm. We're going to listen to the first part. Are you ready? cool is that you should look it up it's vivaldi storm and what he did was he wrote about the four seasons and one of them he wrote about the storm because he felt like it was very wet all right what i did on my picture is done i have a crayon and watercolor rainy picture and what i did after i did my blue of my raindrops i went and got green watercolor and i put it along my green grass and i also did some on my tree all right, so there are two crafts that you can do today that are all about the rain. You can make a rainmaker, or you can make a watercolor painting that goes with our rainy days. All right, Free Care, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.